guys so I have a tag video for you today and this is the big books phobia tag it was started by Liz at Liz's book buffet but I first saw it on Sue Morrow's channel I can't speak I'm sorry I, I've come back from oh God, I can't even speak come home from work quite tired but I, I just fancy doing a video and I really wanted to do this one while I had books in mind for it um, the idea is that you choose five books that you haven't read yet that are considered big books, so over 500 pages, and then you choose five books that are considered average um, or slightly um, smaller books, so they have to be 300 pages or less, and you alternate between them and say why you haven't read the big books yet and what you actually liked about the small books that you have read. So, here we go. The first book, the first big book is... The Evolution of Myra Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. Um, it is 527 pages long. I really enjoyed the first book. Um, and I just haven't... I really enjoyed the first one. And the end was kind of like this big cliffhanger. And um, I was like, oh, I really want to read the next one. I pre-ordered this. And when it came, I was like, what if this one has a big cliffhanger and I have to wait ages for the next one so I decided that I would wait until um, the final um, book was out before I read this. The first small book that I've read and enjoyed is The Boy Who Sneaks in My Bedroom Window by Kirsty Mosley and this one is 253 pages. Um, my friend actually lent this to me and I read it really quickly and I really, really enjoyed it. So I bought my own copy of it. It was kind of um, one of the first new adult novels that I read. And it was sort of published before new adult was a big thing. Um, if you enjoy the new adult genre, um, you might enjoy this. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Next big book that I haven't read is The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak. Um, this was one I'd wanted to read for a while but I wanted a specific edition of it and it just took me um, a while to get it and it's 550 pages and now that I have it it is one that I've been eyeing up lately to um, pick up especially with the movie coming out um, but it's one it just took me a long time to actually buy the next small book that I have to show you that I have actually read as a middle grade and it's Professor Gargoyle by Charles Gilman. This is the first book in the Tales from Lovecraft Middle School. I'm up to date with this series. It's a great fun little series. It takes you about an hour and a half to read um, each of the books. They're really fun with their holographic covers. They have really nice illustrations and they're just super super fun um, and if you enjoy middle grade or you've looked at middle grade and you haven't really known where to start I recommend this series it's really fun next big book that I haven't read is Insurgent by Veronica Roth and this is 525 pages um this I was really excited for this because I read Divergent and I was by the time I read Divergent I hadn't read a lot of dystopian but it became my favourite dystopian. I loved it. Um, I flew through it way quicker than I flew through the Hunger Games. I just enjoyed it more. And um, so it got to this coming out. And then I started to hear like the negative things. Um, and it's just slowed me down picking it up. I do want to read it. Um, and now that the series is finished. It's definitely one that I hope to finish. Fairly soon. <laughs> The next um, small book that I read that I enjoyed is Ella Enchanted by Gail Carson Levine. You guys were just waiting for this to pop up. I know you were. Um, this one is only 239 pages. Um, I love this book. I rave about this book any chance that I get. It's a retelling of um, Cinderella. And this is the movie edition um, I do have a different edition of this that I purchased recently. Um, but if you've seen the movie, like, the movie is okay, but the book is just a million times better. Like, I can't even explain to you guys how much better the book is to the movie. 
Um, it's just really fun, really quirky. Ella is a fantastic um, heroine, and I just really recommend you guys checking this series, um, not this series, this book out if you haven't. And it's it's quite small, so you'll fly through it. Next big book that I haven't read is Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. I expect this will be making a lot of people's lists. Um, I I started to read this one. I got <clears throat> I got 147 pages in, and it is actually if you take all of that, all the extra stuff away, it is 780 pages. I mean, I got a good you know chunk in and I was enjoying it it wasn't that I wasn't enjoying it it was just taking me forever and there was so many other things I wanted to read so I put it down um two years ago now um I do intend to pick it up again but probably not anytime soon because it's it wasn't bad I was enjoying it but it just it was just so big um and the writing was very dense so it was just taking me a long time and because of all the characters um it just took a while. The next small book that I read that I really enjoyed um, was Cursed by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This one is only... Let's get there. It is 288 pages. Um, this was the first book of hers that I read and it really did endear me to um, her books and made me want to read more of them. Plus it's a standalone. Um, don't see many standalones. Um... And it's about a girl who, basically, her touch kills people. Um, whereas her sister can pr bring people back to life, I think. Um, so, her sister has... They, basically, the sisters um, have special powers and then these people show up and um, take them somewhere. But, um, really, really good. Um, it's great that it's a standalone as well. You don't have to wait for the next book. or and It's nice that the story just wrapped up. The last big book that I haven't read yet is um, Priestess of the White by Trudy Canavan. This is another beastie fantasy read. This is 656 pages. Um, I've wanted to actually start this, um, but the bulk of it has put me off because I've not read um, Trudy Canavan before so I don't know if I'm a fan of her like if I would be a fan of hers yet I don't I don't know her writing style so I don't know how quickly I would move through it um, but it's one that I've been eyeing up lately because I'm I've been into fantasy lately or been wanting to read some and the last um, small book that I have read that I really enjoyed is The Duff by Cody Kaplinger this is a young adult contemporary and it is, let's see, 277 pages and it's just funny. It's but It has got some serious messages in there but it is just really funny and I highly recommend it. So I don't know who's been tagged who hasn't, um, basically I tag everybody but in um, specifically, I want to tag Lee from Books Know Best. So that was the book, Big Books Phobia tag. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Happy reading.